If your image, your public relations TV program, is a brand new year for us, I say Happy New Year of yours. Today, we are going to critically assess the impact of public relations in the year 2021. And uh, today, <clears throat> I have with me distinguished professionals who on their own have showcased quality in their areas of operation. Uh, let me first of all introduce uh, Mr. Mr. Peter Oyeneye. Peter Oyeneye is a fellow of the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, a former member of Council of the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, and uh, a CEO, Advanced Management Academy, based in Abuja. I have had to detain him for <laughs> about two days so that uh, he'll be able to be here with us today. Mr. Peter, you are welcome. Thank you very much, sir. I'm glad to have you here. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually happy to be here as well. Thank you. I've always much. wanted to come around, but one has been very busy all day in Abuja. Yeah. But we thank God we are here now. Thank God, thank God that uh, you are here. We are live doing it together. Uh, I also have next to me on my right, Mr. Idris Katim, the head public relations of Crescent University here in Abuja. You are welcome, sir. It's my pleasure. And uh, our parliamentary man, Mr. Dyke Obonaya, is also here with us. He's the head of public relations, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. You're welcome. Good evening, our viewers. It's good to be here once again. Thank you very much yeah. for having us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We've been together, and there is another year we're starting together. Um, we are looking at or having a look at the impact of public relations in the activities in Nigeria in the year 2021. And uh, uh, to have it started, we are going to call on uh, Peter you know, here. Um, what value has public relations added in the year 2021? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we are compliment of the season. It's good starting uh, with this. We, it's always good to review what you have done in the past so that you can do better currently and uh, maybe after now you can even be, get to do the best. Now, whether we like it or not, every time you put a system together, there will be performance. But it might be positive or negative performance. And I must tell you that impacted. Because PR has to do with whatever you put in is what you get. If you communicate effectively, if you communicate continuously, if you listen to people, if you do your research, okay, you're going to do better than the man or that organization that does not listen. So last year we had many organizations that listened. We have those who did not bother about their stakeholders and everybody got a reward for what he or she did. And every organization got a reward for what they did. Well, thank you very much. Um, Kati, uh, you are in the educational sector of the economy. Uh, reflecting on the activities, talking about crisis, talking about uh, uh, educational advancement, talking about uh, issues of uh, content in the syllabus and all other issues. Uh, what PR strategies have been adopted? I see you get any result also. Uh, thank you. Uh, public relations uh, is um, like a medicine. The public relations practitioners are like doctors. Uh, public relations has always impacted positively on brands and organizations. Uh, if your doctor tells you or prescribes a medicine for you, uh, for instance, the, uh, the malaria drug ACT-221, and you use that malaria drug accordingly, you get good results. That is public relations. Uh, the performance of public relations largely is dependent on how the public relations practitioner's prescriptions 
have been strictly adhered to by chief executives of organizations and governments. So uh, public relations has always done excellently if uh, strategies uh, prescribed uh, well adhered to. In the education sector, for instance, uh, public relations has done well in some sectors, like my veteran has uh, uh, rightly identified, while uh, it has been prevented to, to do well in, uh, in, on, in other sectors. Uh, the NUC recently released um, certain uh, information in ranking and 100% uh, accreditation of universities. Uh, some universities have been acknowledged to have performed excellently in 100%, like Crescent University of Abiyokuta, for instance, that has 100% accreditation in all of its courses. So public relations has done well in that sector. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm going to take you up. If you say public relations has done well in ensuring accreditation, what strategies did that university use to ensure that you gain acceptance, you change the perception, and you change the content to warrant that full accreditation? Uh, thank you. First of all, uh, quality control. Uh, the National Universities Commission is the regulatory body for all universities in Nigeria, and there are laid down criteria. So each of these criteria should be well satisfied. The academic content, employer's rating, how are your products performing in the market, in the job market? Because that is the input. When you are training students, what is the result? The result will reflect in uh, further studies, employment, and entrepreneurship. Uh, there, there, there are variables of uh, benchmark by the NUC. So the university has ensured that these benchmarks are uh, well met. Thank you very much for the illustration. Uh, Dyke Gunaya. Well, you are in the security sector. Um, reflecting also, what would you say PR has changed within your sector? Uh, public relations, just like uh, the two earlier speakers have said, they try to define public relations from their individual perspective. Uh, I believe in public relations, we also try as much as possible to be proactive, uh, like intelligent officers. Uh, what the PR uh, program is doing here, your image, is to also look inwards from what we did in 2021 and uh, being proactive to what we feel we should do in the year 2022. Uh, in security agencies or services in the open state, uh, most of what we do is to be in constant communication with uh, uh, our recipients, which are the citizens of Ogun State, uh, residents of the Gateway State. Uh, in the year 2021, we had much more collaboration, uh, irrespective of whatever your services is or are. We try as much as possible, where, who, whoever is advancing what uh, project or what view, no matter who is going to drive it as a security agency, what we need as an agency, as agencies in the area of security in the state is results. And I think in 2021, we try as much as possible to have collaborative efforts and we had more effort. If you look at 2021, we had a lot of challenges which we cannot uh, run away from. But as much as possible, we were able to also uh, surmount those challenges through our collaborative efforts uh, from different services in Ogun State. Thank you very much. Yes, and that takes me to Peter Ileye. Uh, in any nation, in any environment, 
there are bound to be crises. Uh, can you come up with facts on how Nigeria has been able to manage crises in different societies, organization to organization, and uh, otherwise? Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I want to commend different organizations that have tried in one way or the other to manage their crisis well last year. One thing we should know is that uh, wherever there are human beings and you have stakeholders you're relating with, there may be issues here and there. But in public relations practice, the most important thing is, are you able to communicate what is happening? I, I tell you, I've always said there is no perfect organization, there is no perfect societies, things can go wrong. But when they go wrong, what do you do? Some people run away from the media when things go wrong. Some people keep quiet. They will never talk when things go wrong. That is not PR. In public relations, if something has gone wrong, you come out, explain to the public, to your stakeholders, we are sorry, this and this has happened. One. Two, this and this are what we are doing to redress the situation. When that situation has been redressed, you also come out and say, we have done this, we have done this, and this is a new thing. So last year, we had some organizations. We had some schools that had issues with student union, with government, with parents, okay? And they had meetings, okay? They, 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 there was meeting, people came together, spent one week, two weeks, and the rest of them, and they came out of it. Great. We had places where people would not want to talk. And uh, Mr. Ogunaya has actually talked about uh, the issue of security, crisis, and the rest of them. But for us in Abuja, it wasn't like that. Okay, because monitoring around the country, you hear about people being kidnapped today, tomorrow, and the rest of them. And it takes days before you hear anything from the government. And that is not good for PR. Okay, somebody has lost the child, or somebody has been kidnapped, or whatever, and nobody is talking. No government is talking. At the local government level, at the state, everybody keeps uh, uh, quiet. It's, it's wrong. You understand? Okay, people want to know, what are you doing about this situation? In fact, the moment you release information, this is what we are doing, this is what we are doing, people will be happy about it. Now, if you look at what is happening in Kaduna State, over, over, in fact, in the last one month, it's been terrible. If I open my phone for you, you see there, people sending messages, uh, pray with us, uh, help us. We are sending money to people. We are contributing money to pay kidnappers. And these people are using phone to call people to collect money. Why did we do, uh, what's it called? I have seen cars were registered. So they picked the name, we picked it. They do that, we have done it. So what have you done? What is happening there? Because now they were telling us that, oh, we are doing that for security purpose, okay? If your number is registered, if you have your name, if anybody calls you and threatens you, okay, we can quickly get across to the person. So what is happening now? So you can see crisis will be there. But if what you have promised us, we have not gained it, we have not got it from you, it means there is a problem. And it's not a problem of public relations. Okay? My colleague, uh, uh, Mr. Katibi, okay, said that earlier. Okay? It's not a problem. See, PR will always perform when you use it well. But the moment the CEO or whoever will not accept the prescription, okay, things will not go well. And I must say, whether we like it or not, from now on, okay, as long as some organizations are ready to do the right thing, they will get the right result. You also remember last year we had issue with uh, 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 bullying in schools. Okay? It, wasn't, it was not just one or two schools. There were many schools that this thing happened. There were some schools that the moment it happened, they nipped it in the board. They quickly called a meeting of parents, of the parents of the children that were involved, of those, of the bullies, okay, and the bullied. Okay, and they came out with something. Some of them did not even get to the media space. Some of them got there. In one week, the thing was taken care of. But there are some that have been recurring. It, the news is always there because some people are hiding some information. They don't want to say something. Let me tell you something. If something has gone wrong in your school or in your office, in any kind of organization, the best public relations is for you to check what went wrong. Why did it go wrong? Don't lie. Don't cover it. If you cover it, it will still come out. That is PR for you. But the moment you notice the thing, what this department did something wrong, this man did something wrong, you tell the public, we are very sorry, we noticed this and this. And now the law will be allowed to take its course concerning these people who did something wrong. I tell you, the public will kill behind you because you are not covering anybody. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I noticed something, and that has to do with the issue of uh, perception, yeah. uh, which uh, ultimately uh, is making some people to change their attitude and have a positive uh, uh, thought or acceptance on a particular issue, brands, institutions, and the like. Kati, uh, what can we do to change perceptions? What are the mechanisms that a PR person or an organization should deploy to, ens to ensure that perception is changed? Uh, I I'll give you an example. Uh, look at the issue of uh, NSAS. You know, when it happens, uh, government has to begin to set up panels, uh, ensure the engagements with the public, with the students, with the youth, and all that. And, uh, you know, they sat down to make a change towards the approach with which things and the processes could change. I ask you now, how do we ensure that a sustained change is earned? Um, perception <clears throat> in public relations uh, is very, very important. And uh, what leads to a positive perception of brands and organizations in public relations are three things. Okay. The first is communication. Okay. The second is communication. And the third is communication. The truth. Uh, each organization or brand should endeavor to communicate to the stakeholders. To be open. Yes, to communicate to stakeholders. Um, my veteran has identified that uh, last year we witnessed bullies and um, um, some nefarious activities in our schools, such as cultism. Uh, the Ogo State, I must commend the Ogo State government for taking the right steps, especially regarding uh, what happened in secondary schools in the state last year. I think they uh, have done some cleansing in-house. Nice. They have called stakeholders meetings by postponing the resumption of schools, by committing parents to come and sign some undertakings, by committing the students themselves to who are ready to resume. I even learned that if uh, you were spared from a school because of courtesy or bullying, uh, bullying and the rest of it, another school, even private school, will not be allowed to take you in. So that I think, uh, yes, it, yes. Is a, it is a right step yes. in the right direction uh, by the state government. And uh, it is part of the proactive management uh, that we are talking about in, in public relations. Communication, communication, communication. So if we communicate, it then means that uh, feelings. Yes, that communication should come with uh, the truth and full information. And they shouldn't have anything to hide. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, let, let's go into the political arena. Um, we have seen crisis erupting in political parties. We have seen crisis erupting in the assemblies, name it state assembly, out of red, or just say national assembly. Uh, how has PR been deployed to change the attitude and stem the type of crisis, violence in political arena, particularly among political parties, or, and even intra-political parties? Four different uh, uh, activities amongst political uh, associations in Nigeria which uh, needed PR to resolve. Just like uh, my two earlier speakers have said, for perception, uh, you also need sincerity, uh, satisfaction, commitment, 
and purpose to, to, to actually drive it. Uh, for our political associations in terms of uh, uh, the different areas that they had in 2021, uh, PR had been able to, to come into it by being open to what should be done, how are our political leanings supposed to be done, what are, are the people are expecting from uh, the political leaders in the country, what are the political leaders giving out in terms of uh, uh, dividends of democracy in the country. Uh, all this are uh, what public relations have been able uh, as a professional, as professionals, as experts, been able to use to educate uh, not only our leaders, but the citizens of the country too, in what they expect, uh, so that our political uh, our members, members of the public who are in the political terrain would be able to know that uh, you, you are not just there as, a, as being elected as different uh, aspects of, uh, of the platform of political uh, system, but you also need to give results. There are expectations that you should have, because when you give negative expectations to the public or the citizens, they also be ready to have negative results when you come back home. For example, during this festive uh, uh, period, we had reasons for some things not being signed by the president, and uh, it was agreed that people should go back to their constituencies. So as they come back to us, uh, they are also expected to discuss with us, and we reason together as people who also elected them to those positions. We don't see reason by being personal. We see reasons by seeing what we are supposed to do to move us forward. And these are the things that populations do to drive us as yeah, a people and we as a country. We will move forward next week. And uh, at that time, we'll be discussing issues of intergovernmental affairs. We'll be looking at contemporary issues, how PR has been able to solve major problems, critical issues, for a particular nation. And we'll be doing that comparison. Thank you for being here today. Uh, this is still your image, your public relations program. Peter, you know, can we have your last shot before okay. we round off this uh, program? Yeah, once again, I want to say that public relations has to do with good performance, supported with adequate publicity. That gives you PR. Katim, <laughs> public relations is a medicine. Use it well, get good results. So we are doctors. <laughs> yeah, we are. Somehow. <laughs> Guys. Public relations has to do for me with three things. You have to be an expert in communication. You have to be someone who also enforces the communication, putting it to use. And you also have to be a problem solving facilitator okay. as a population uh, professional. Public relations has the responsibility of engaging every sector, every individual, stakeholders to a particular issue. Based on that, we we'll continue our discussion. And the final last thing we got public